Hi guys and welcome back to the Revolution YouTube channel. It is Nikki here from the channel Nikki Secret X and today I'm really excited to be here guys. I'm going to be sharing with you the new Revolution Faster Base Concealers. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere and they are absolutely bomb. They come in 14 shades and they have this little twisty mechanism that helps you get the product out. I love the packaging. I absolutely love nude packaging. I die for nude packaging. It's a bomb. And I'm going to show you the swatches right here from light, medium and dark just so you can see the colours. Now this concealer is a sheer to medium but buildable coverage and it has this beautiful soft cushion applicator on it as well and this concealer helps you banish these dark circles that i really need to get rid of like my dark circles are the bane of my life and this concealer helps me get rid of them so i'm going to show you guys exactly how so i'm going to start off just with a bare face and i'm going to apply the revolution lip conditioner really quickly just on the lips just to keep them a little bit hydrated and plump because my lips are hella dry right now I'm going to be starting off by prepping the skin because we're going to go into foundation first before we apply any concealer to the skin. And for this, I'm going to be using the Revolution Baking Oil. This is to hydrate and prep for flawless makeup application. I love the little pipette and I love the feeling of this oil on the skin as well because it really hydrates my skin and I can feel it working. So I'm going to take a couple of drops of this and then just massage this with my the palms of my hands on my face and take that down to my neck and chest area. Now you guys know that I love a really nice flawless skin, a base, I feel like it's so important. So I'm going to be using the Fast Base Stick in the shade F12. This is a perfect match for me and I feel like this paired with that concealer is a match made in heaven for a really nice blank canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and use this stick, I'm just going to draw some stripes all over my face and then I'm going to blend this out just using a sponge. I love the Fast Base Foundation Stick because it's super creamy but I, most of all I love like the satin kind of skin like finish to it and it's full coverage. It covers absolutely everything but looks natural at the same time. So now it's time for the fun stuff. We're gonna get into the concealer because I need to cover up the shade on top of my eyes and the shade underneath my eyes. And actually, surprisingly, there are quite a few colors that I can use. But I feel like the best one that fits me is gonna be the Fast Base Concealer in the shade C12. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little bit of a clicky, twisty motion at the bottom to let the product come out into the sponge applicator. And then I'm just gonna give myself a few dots and a couple extra just because I like that full coverage underneath my eyes and a few dots just around my mouth area for my hyperpigmentation there. And then I'm gonna blend this out using a sponge. So guys, this concealer is fast. Like it blended out super quick and it's got rid of, it's just banished my dark circles, they've gone. They don't even look like they even existed. Now, I also like to use the Fast Base Concealers to highlight, to bronze, to contour. I like to use them for absolutely everything. And for highlighting, I don't feel like going too cray on the highlight today. So I'm going to be using the Fast Base Concealer in the shade 8.5. And I'm going to pop this underneath my eyes. Let's just pop some dots underneath our eyes. We're going to pop it down the center of our face. All the areas that we just want to bring forward. And then I'm going to use my sponge again just to blend this concealer out. Okay, guys. So I'm not even going to lie. Them dots, that sponge little applicator, makes a really cute video or post for the gram. Like, it will look cute on the gram, trust me. Now I need to add a little bit of dimension because my face is looking a little bit flat, so I wanna warm it up by using some bronzer. But for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the concealer again in my favorite shade, it is C13. And I'm gonna pop this just on my cheeks and around my temple area, and then just bring that down to my jawline just to warm everything up, give us a really nice kind of sun-kissed vibe. Again, with that dotting technique. And then I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to blend that out as well. Now using the Fast Base Concealer, concealer to bronze will just ensure that you get a really really natural sort of finish instead of using a powder because this is going to sink into the skin and it's going to look a little bit more natural. Now I seriously am living my best life with the Fast Base Concealers. I'm going to be using the shade C14 now to contour and I only like to really contour my cheekbones to cut them and then just a little bit on my temple area. So I'm going to dot a few dots just on my cheekbones, underneath my cheekbones and then just along the temple area and then I'm just going to buff this out using a brush. Okay so now that we have a super flawless base I want to just complete the face 
to show you guys what the end result looks like. So I'm going to do on my brows real quick. I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Cushion in the shade Dark Brown. I love this because I feel like this is what makes my eyebrows, gives them a little bit of colour but makes them look super, super natural. So I'm just going to take an angle brush and fill my brows in where they are a little bit sparse and I want a little bit more depth to them. Now that my brows are down, I just want to set on my eyelids and for this I'm going to be using the Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana, just giving them a light dust over my eyelids. For eyes, I'm feeling super summery, super girly, and I want to do pink. So I'm going to be going into the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals to Eyeshadow Palettes, and I'm actually going to be mixing these two pinks right here, and just doing a wash of this colour because I still want it to be about the base. So I'm going to do a wash of this colour just on the eyelids. Let's also just take this colour and smoke it out on the bottom lash line. Now to give it a really nice kind of fresh look to this makeup look, I'm going to be using the blush palette by Revolution in Hot Spice. This is one of my favourite blush palettes ever and I'm going to be taking these two pinks, just mixing them together and then popping this blusher on the apples of the cheeks and then blending up towards the temple area. Now I'm going to be highlighting, this is one of my favourite parts whenever I do my makeup, I just feel like it brings my look together and I'm going to be using this Revolution Revolution highlighter quad in the shade Ignite. How stunning, I can't even, how stunning is this? I'm going to be mixing most of the colours, so I'm going to take a couple of the pinks and the gold, mix it together and I'm just going to pop this highlighter on the high points of the face. I'm also a big fan of highlighting the inner corner, so I'm going to go into that same Ignite palette. I'm going to take the pink and the gold and just pop a little bit of shine in my inner corners. Now I'm going to quickly go off camera, I'm going to pop on my mascara and my lashes just to complete my eyes and we'll come back and do lips and and finishing touches together. Now that our lashes are securely on, we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to be using the Revolution Matte Liquid Lip in Strip, just a beautiful kind of nude colour. So let me just pop this colour straight on. Just to bring back a little bit of that pink, I'm going to be using the shade Buff in their matte liquid lipstick as well. Now last but not least, let's finish with a little bit of the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm just going to spray myself with this and then just let it air dry. And that is it guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, I had so much fun filming it for you. These fast base concealers are absolutely bomb, if you haven't got your hands on them, you need to get your hands on them. But let us know down in the, the comment section below what you thought of this tutorial and give us a big thumbs up if you liked. Mwah.